Hello and a very, very happy new year. In this video, I'm going to tell you three things that you should be doing in this year 2020 to become better programmers and software engineers. First, plan for learning. A lot of us leave learning to be incidental. It's usually by external factors. Something that you need to do at work and that causes you to learn, you realize there's some gap in your knowledge. You're like, okay, I have to go learn that thing. Or you're trying to get a job and you're preparing for interviews and you wanna learn all the things that makes you better at interviews. I wanna suggest this year to kind of take a step back and have you drive the learning. You own your learning path and say, this is what I want to learn by the end of this year. A new year is a great point to kind of make that plan for the rest of the year so that you know exactly what you are going to accomplish in this year. So make that learning plan. Have your learning be conscious and deliberate. Once you make that plan, you will soon see opportunities where you can actually make that come true, right? Once you've decided, okay, I want to learn this particular technology or this particular skill, you will soon see wherever there is an opportunity to actually have that happen. The very fact that you have made the plan is gonna say, okay, that is actually a call to action. This is something that you should be acting upon. So it's very, very important to have your learning be more deliberate. Even if it's just to get a job or to get a promotion or whatever else, even if it's goal oriented, don't do it because of a certain external event. Do it because you wanna do it. Once you've acquired the skill, the events and the circumstances are gonna follow. And that's happened so many times in my life. So I urge you to make that plan. That's the first step. Second step, defeat choice paralysis. A lot of people come to me and say, okay, now I wanna learn and I wanna improve, but I don't know which framework to choose. I don't know which language to choose. I don't know which technology to choose. There's so many of them. Should I learn Java? Should I learn Node.js or should I learn Python? Should I learn C++, whatever else, right? Should I learn Spring or Java E or Express? There are a lot of options in the market today. Don't get me wrong, I totally get that. And that can be confusing. But that's also something which is not gonna change. If you're looking for like, what's the best thing for me to learn, you're never gonna get an answer. Or you might ask 10 people and you get 10 answers. Now, what are you gonna do with that? So break the choice paralysis. This is, what's, this is what I refer to as choice paralysis. Having too many choices is just gonna paralyze you. So you break it using multiple different techniques. First, look at why you're learning. You're making a plan, let's say to get promoted. Then you know what is the skill that you need to get promoted, so pick that particular skill. Let's say you're making a learning plan to go attend interviews and get a job. Well, then look up job postings and see what are the technologies that they have put over there, okay? So the thing that you need to learn is that when you do something like this, when you say you pick a technology or you pick a language, you're not learning it for that particular thing itself. So let's say you learn Java and then maybe one year down the line, you say, okay, Java has suddenly stopped being popular. Nobody's using Java anymore. Is that a risk? Well, no, because everything that you've learned in Java can be transferred over to another language. Let's say you choose JavaScript or you choose Python. Well, there are variations. It's not like you can transfer 100%, but you have 50% there. And the fact that you are a Java developer is gonna make you better at Python than someone who's just starting from the scratch. So what's the cost to learning something which is gonna go away in the future? There's no cost. So stop asking people what's the right thing to learn. Stop asking the universe. Make an informed decision, make a calculated decision, but take that risk and learn something and start your journey. Once you start it, you will soon realize this is not something that I wanna learn, and then you can pivot. Don't optimize for just learning one thing. You don't wanna optimize for effort. You wanna optimize for being a good programmer, and actually being a good programmer actually requires learning multiple things. So there's no cost to just picking something and learning today. So break the choice paralysis. Step three, do a personal project. Once you've made a plan, once you've picked a technology or a language, 
identify some personal project that you want to actually implement and complete end to end in that technology. I'm not saying the hello worlds and the to-do lists and the simple microservice. I'm talking about an actual application end to end. It's very easy to do some basic stuff, but then as you add details, as you add features to your application, that's where the complexity lies. It's simple to work on a project which has three files, but add more and more features, you end up with 10 files, 20 files, 100 files, then you'll realize a real experience of working in a real world application. It's not as easy as building a hello world project, right? You're working on real code, you will realize when your original vision deviates from the vision that you have two months down the line, and you will understand the pain of maintaining a software project. Once you understand the pain of maintaining a software project, you will understand how to code so that your code does not incur that kind of a pain when you're maintaining it two or three months down the line, all right? So it's all tied together. So the way to get that expertise is by building a personal project, not just the basics, not just trying out different features, but building a real world project. Even if there are zero users, it's fine. Build something, put it out there, put it on an AWS free tier instance and see how it works. Build it end to end and see it work. Okay, so that leaves the fourth step, the fourth item, bonus item that you should be doing, which is commit to taking a course end to end. It can be a Java Brains course, it can be some other course. I want you to put a note in the comments. Comment here, even if you haven't commented on any of my videos before, make a comment and say which course you're gonna be watching end to end. I'm not saying watch two or three videos and be done with it. Watch a course end to end. If it's a Java Brains playlist, well, make a note in the comments and say, this is the Java Brains playlist I'm gonna watch end to end so that I get complete expertise in that particular topic. There are a bunch of playlists that I already have on my channel. Go to the playlist tab and see what are the playlists that are available. Pick something and make a note in the comment and say, I'm gonna watch this end to end in the next three months. I'm going to look at each and every one of your comments and after three months, trust me, I'm going to respond to that comment and check with you if you've actually done it. So make that commitment, put a note in the comments, make a comment and say, this is the course that I'm gonna watch end to end and have your first three months of 2020 be with getting expertise in that particular topic. I wish you again a very, very happy new year. Good luck and wish you a lot of learnings this year. Thank you.